This is not what we like to see when we come back to check our lines. And this is the only thing we know to do to combat it. Get a shovel, but we already have one. Just a mud spatula. joining us. I'm Nina. With me as always is Josh. My mom says I need to introduce myself more and if you're new with us we're out on the Green River in South Central Kentucky. We're trout lining for catfish. It is day three since we set our lines and we have high hopes because we caught yesterday. So let's see what we got. Oh. <laughs> we didn't even know this was here yesterday. That's a big one. Oh, this river's changing so fast. And then there's one on this side. As it likes to do. All right, here we go. Still got bait. Did you see all this? Look, this is crazy. We're still over the top of this log. Dang. Oh, it had a little hang up there. Just came loose. There's an empty hook. Yep. Come on, give me a bounce on the line. I'll get back here. Hang on. Got less debris than yesterday. Still got bait. Oh, I got a stick fish. Kind of a cool piece. It might be heavy though. Yeah. Oh, no. oh god. Oh. Dang. Okay. Well, caught a couple of stick fish. That's a big piece. Let's uh, take some of the slack off this line. I'm going to tighten it up just a little bit. All right. Uh, over here by this close end. And uh, probably lower our anchor points a little bit because the river's dropping so fast. We don't have any rain scheduled at least for the next five days. So it'll probably keep dropping this quickly. Um, I have a really cool app I'm going to put up on the screen right now, show you guys uh, a little bit of what we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. That's pretty crazy, isn't it? Yes. It never ceases to amaze me, just the constant woo. But uh, anyway, as you can see, let me get over here. See how high our anchor point is above water now? And all this, even with all that tension on it, all I gotta do is pull them out one by one and look at that. Just slips right out. Easy as can be. I'm just thinking, I think that line would be yeah. But one of the reasons that I like to tie up to these uh, rip bundles all up and down the bank here is because as the water goes up and down, I have lots of places I can move my anchor point to. Um, we did that a lot on the Barren River last year. You'll see a lot of it this year. This river's a lot bigger, but the rules are the same. I'm just starting my overhand there. Right. There's four overhand knots. That's plenty enough to keep it. This root is nice and sturdy right here. The rest of it, I'm just going to kind of bundle up. Tuck down there. My love, once you're clear of the line. Hmm. All right. 
for fishing. Tiny baby turtle. No way did I just catch him. Oh my god. Really? <laughs> oh no. I swear. Oh my god. I'm sorry, little dude. I just reacted on instinct. <laughs> just keep him for the boat ride and then we'll let him go. Alright, here we go. That must be a sign of good luck. We had two fish on this line yesterday, but it was also hung up. Nothing. Hopefully it's not hung again. <laughs> um, I get skunked today, y'all. That's not good. When the river's dropping like this, that's fairly common. So this is the line drop, and uh, we're still fishing. So we got skunk today, but we made a new little friend. Let's uh, get him back in the water. Most famous turtle in the river. Name him Leonardo. All right, little buddy. I'm sorry that I interrupted your day. thinking about it. He's going to do it. <laughs> that was fun. That was awesome. Yeah. Join us next time, guys. We'll catch one tomorrow. Skunk dumplings? Mm -hmm. Skunk dumplings. I like it.
Dumplin' drop. Dumplin' drop. Are you shitting me? It's not gonna like ring a ding. <laughs> That's some bullshit. I mean, we're gonna buy a better one. I'm sorry, dude.